not all who wander are lost Oh um I'm Suraj a filmmaker and a documentarian you must be Siddhant please to meet you Uh I don't mean to interrupt you Oh please do come in Nice house. Thanks. Uh, I thought I never again needed to answer that door to people who would recognize me as an author after the slump of my third novel. <laughs> Come on, man! You're still famous out there. You know, people wish the best of you. You know that. Okay. Well, uh, I want to come to the point directly. It, it, you know, it was Mr. Batia who sent me here to understand that. trifles and the journey that you went through I'm sorry I do not want to speak or hear anything about that person it's it's a long story and I do not want anything to open up the mortgage of anything that is left of me it's it's personal so if you're here on his escort or anything on his reference I'm afraid I'll not be able to help you listen Siddhant I know the grudge you have for him it's not the grudge there are there are many things that I'll not be able to explain it to you I can understand I have been on the same boat too. Okay, well, uh, you need to learn that I'm doing a documentary now to take revenge against him too. What was it? See, I cannot tell you. It's personal. But uh, only if you could team up with me and tell me everything that you shared as inexplicable in the news headlines, we would take revenge against him together. You mean using a documentary? Absolutely. But how? You see I cannot tell you I have to tell you only if you could team up with me The thing lasted for a day but felt like half a year It all started that day God, why can't you be more social now? Forget the novel that took away everything. I simply cannot. It was a hard effort. I know. I understand. Okay, Sidan, why you act like? God, Sidan, listen to me. Okay, I understand what you're going through, but you need to learn that your writing skills with the fourth novel has improved. I hope so. Did you read the premise I sent you? Of course my dear author and today we will be meeting the gentleman producer and talk about it and i'm sure we won't regret the opportunity of converting it into a film no ishwari i don't want to i want it to be a perfect novel the very effervescence of the words are taken away when the film forms that's not true look siddhant i've tried very hard to get his appointment and i don't want it to go waste do you understand that you know what i don't want to start it all over again because the producer might be here any time Come on Aish this is my precious work I cannot let it go for a simple movie transformation not even for a nice bunch of notes Now if you both could stop staring at me like that I could have my seat on that magnificent couch So please have your seat So you must be the man with the magical pen Siddhant right uh yes sir this is my close friend siddhant paska so siddhant this is mr bhatia the producer let me tell you he also keeps interest in publishing books especially if he likes them 
and he is one kind of producer who could take any step to convert a brilliant story into a movie or even publish it as a novel. Siddhant, you're getting what I'm telling you, right? So, Siddhant, <clears throat> I sure tells me you've written a brilliant novel which deals with the psychological aspects of the human mind. Are you surprised to see me here? That's good. Um I read I've read the idea about your novel and uh, I must tell you from my experience this book's got immense potential both as a movie and a book. Thank you. And uh, now that it's got so much potential now I can't I can't let it go for anything else. Oh um he must or Arthur must be thinking of making this novel into a better one. No, I do not want to give my story to you. It's my precious work and I cannot let it go for a simple movie transformation. See Sidhan, you don't understand. You're sitting on a gold mine here. And a little negative embellishment on that lead character I can make you rich beyond your dreams. Th- that's not nice of you. The story stays as it is, no more addition, and I certainly will make sure that it won't reach people through you. Thank you. You may please leave. I came here with a vision, Ashwarya. Um, I know, Mr. Bhatia. I'm sorry, Mr. Bhatia. Mr. Bhatia, please listen to me. Mr. Bhatia, I'm sorry for all this. It's all right. I knew this would happen anyway. Uh so do I still get to keep the agreement alive? Yes. What the money can't do, the mind will. You mean? I've done my part of the infusion. Now it's your turn. Yeah. Surely I will. I'm sorry, Sid. I just couldn't take that my works were being judged by her. I trusted her with that. What happened next? Nice to meet you. Hey, are you all right? Siddhant, are you all right? Do you remember when I slept? Yeah, you were angry so thought of not disturbing you. Calm down, nightmares occur. Uh Siddhant, I just want to tell you that I'm sorry for what happened today. I really am. That's all right. So, it's been days since you promised to tell me how you came out of this depression hibernation. For sure. It was unmanageable. Torn to pieces. Self-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis. That's how I came out of it. Self-hypnosis. Interesting. Yeah. Basically like inception. Uh, I put in a positive thought. Did a lot of exercise. That's how I got out of it. In the process, I got an idea of my next novel. That's how fourth novel came about.
You love this, don't you? Ashwarya? 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 Then something strange happened. Yeah? Something that you wouldn't believe. Aishwarya? Surprise! Come on, writer. Define this beautiful smile. Acknowledge it. Oh. You look nervous. Perhaps this is our third meeting. You shouldn't be afraid of my smile. Now bloody prize it! You think you're smart, huh? Look at what you imagined. You freak. Imagination costs nothing. Inception? Yes, it is Inception, but of a different kind. I was held captive in my own imagination. That was the only place I was happy, but it got encroached too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. How can you get stuck in an imagination that is purely like a lunatic speaking? Uh, that must be a story. It wasn't. It was real. Version to be story by many. Not many, but, but all, unfortunately. You see, Suraj, some people dream and do what they dream. And some people dream and end up doing not what they dream. This results in this results in frustration, jealousy. Hmm, okay. How did it happen? It was it was because of self hypnosis gone wrong. Terribly wrong. You see, mind is like an atom. It has two parts. Conscious and subconscious. Unconscious is when the mind fails to comprehend. Then there's a nucleus, the subconscious, which has the ability to store all the positive thoughts, manifested thoughts, 
thoughts which have been sure part of your life like like driving or writing the gravity to which these electrons are held to is a conscious mind imagination comes from the space between the electrons and the nucleus attraction and if this is captivated imagination is yours that's what that's what precisely what happened to me it's it's not sedative pure technique people who performed hypnosis on me the second time condemned me brought me down to lowest levels of confidence my god i cannot believe it i just don't know what to say that's why i call it a story no one believes it now the the electrons succumb to gravity trigger the subconscious harming the total health of my mind it must have been the greatest assist in the history of mankind i must tell you it's uh, it's a greatest story <laughs> did did mr bhatia send you to to the story i wrote a novel on uh apparently yes but uh, if whatever you're telling is true then you have my word i won't betray your trust thank you you imagine well my friend or uh, should i call you foe for the deepening of your thoughts into imagination i got a darker shade on myself not to be it i must admit it and uh, i am loving it you know what you owe me You're bound within your house compound. You cannot get out of it. You see, your imagination is under my control, and this is the boundary I have for your imagination. The hypnosis was so strong that all the characters of my novel were turned against me. Most importantly. I wasn't having any track of what was happening in there. I have only one module to make or to comply with. And you're going to help me do that. And only then you'll have your own way. Do you even know who I am? I'm the famous Manu, protagonist of Siddhant's fourth novel. You had given me a darker shade in the novel. I didn't like it too much. I wanted to be a darker, you know, satiate my ego. I'm never gonna give it to you. You felt. <laughs> Do you have any other way than writing for me? Look. I need the novel in a much darker shade and I deserve it. Believe me. I can take it from you. 
You have to reveal everything. Everything about the novel to me. Right for the master. See, if you do not do this for me, you're going to have a hard time spending here. You'll be here, locked for the ages. And by the time you become older, you would have not lived in the real world. You will die within yourself. Right for the master. 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 Look around your projections. Your every imagination is against you. What would you do? Sit and cry for the rest of your life? If I kill myself now, I'll wake up to the reality. I'm sorry to find your foolishness. This is imagination, not dream. If you kill yourself, you'll die in reality. How can you do that without writing a good story for me? I was unable to understand what was happening to me. Neither did I know who was playing around. The music was still very loud, but what bewildered me was that I saw the characters of my hobby laughing and smiling at each other. What more shocking was that I saw myself approaching them in glee. The situation was disturbing. Then I learned a strange thing. You wanted me to be a good character in the novel, didn't you? Why are we acting like a joker back there? I was really scared. Because that's the kind of role you had given me in the novel. I don't know whether I would be so good with the nice person. Huh? Why are you mellow so good here? Because this is your dream. See there, your dream is ending. Look, listen, no matter how bad things are, there's always good in them. So this is a nice part remaining in my imagination? In your mind, not your imagination. What was happening in there? I was under high brain stress. So he decided to shut down for a while. Dreams always give a clue. And those good things and bad were trying to help me out. Why is everything bad attracted towards me? Only when a bird loses its wings, it realizes it had them. Tell me who is playing around with my mind? Hey you! Come back here! Tell me who's... Not all your companions are true friends. Remember. Donna. 
companion to true friends. We should play the game again. Come on. So a dream within an imagination to tell something good was still remaining. Dose of pain in your muscles, don't you? <clears throat> Look, you're going to write the novel for me, or you will be in serious consequences. And I'm damn serious now. You know what you owe me, don't you, Mr. Siddhant? A damn darker straight protagonist story to calm my ego. You know what I owe you? Pain, agonizing pain. You see these people? These are created by me. In your imagination. This means I have complete control over your imagination. You are going to write the novel for me. Will you or not? Yes. Leave me alone. So that was a positive thing. Exactly. But whatever you did in your imagination, state that right. How could they make you rewrite the whole novel? It was hypnotism. And I was so succumbed that I was working according to their rules. 
mine is a complex network and they got hold of just the right nerve to transmit information from my brain to my hand <laughs> is it really possible sometimes yes if everything goes right i say you indeed are a lucky man to have been in a such a complicated network <laughs> well yeah but it was pain not happiness somehow that positivism was growing slowly and that very line showed me who really was responsible for all this that remnant thing was telling me to imagine 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 once they decided she came in disguise of my close friend who I dearly love she put me to the cycle of hypnosis when the music started with a beat and i was trapped that is brutal i saw some strange things oh that was pretty quick where are you on the page have you come to an end yes i have to end this stupidity to your atrocity <laughs> do you think you can threaten me by your novelistic ideas <laughs> tell me who told you to do all these things in your mind <laughs> get off my imagination <laughs> Not all your companions are true friends. That makes it clear. Now get off my imagination. You shall never have your story. Get lost. So after this long journey in the imagination state, I came to know that you fell back to reality, and I also knew that it was Ashwarya behind it. Then, then it's subtle enough to believe that even the producer was joining in the team of Ashwarya. Right? That's really sad. Siddhant, I can explain. Please leave. Siddhant, please, I can explain. Please. Ashwarya, please leave. So you let go all your hard work for that agonizing pain. I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. This very house has given me so much of pain. Now it's giving me so much of solace. I think you need to rest a while. Let's sit down. I hope I never again make a mistake of giving myself into such hypnotism tricks. Not this cycle again. It will forever. You know the story that you have written in your novel. 
it is the same story that has happened to you <laughs> you are so much into it that you have lost yourself in your imagination just projection tanishwarya a projection again oh god when will this end it will end only when you write the end last page of your novel Sometimes it's just not important to conclude with a promising journey. Sometimes you need to understand that everything that manifests is in gold. Sometimes everything gets lost or you have to let go. You never know what took you there. What happened to me was betrayal. People will not believe what happened to me. And yes, it was all because of this hard work. But sadly, I have to let go. And yes, I'm letting this go. For you cannot hold on to a thing that will be a jinx to live. What happened to me will will never be told to anyone. Even if told, it will just be and remain a story. A story. Oh um I'm Suraj a filmmaker and a documentarian you must be Siddhant pleased to meet you my god not this again <laughs> <laughs>